Welcome to the world of amazing animal babies. Taking a trip down memory lane, Henry? Did you ever see such a cute little baby? Oh, boy, was I cute or what? Very nice, Henry. I was more than nice. I was beautiful. Henry, what's with the baby <sighs> carriage? Oh, that? Just something my cousin dropped off. Don't tell me you're babysitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big deal. Hey, what's going on, Henry? Huh? Wow, I think you got more than you bargained for. Could somebody help me out here, please? Looks like you could use some help, Henry. Yeah. Do you know anything about babies? Well, I mean, I was one once. Hmm. But bringing up babies is no simple matter. There's a lot you could learn by watching amazing animal babies and their parents. Nah, what could be so difficult? All babies need to do is look cute. They also need feeding. And cleaning. Many animal babies make an extraordinary entrance into the world. Some are big babies. Others are little devils, but they all have one thing in common. Mom. Is this a mouse mom? No, a marsupial mom. Excuse me, a marsupi what? Marsupial, Henry, an animal that carries her babies in a pouch. It's easy to carry one baby, but when you've got this many, it can be a bit of a challenge. Wow, what a drag! Henry, I think you need to pay closer attention to the baby. Baby's this, baby's that. He'll be fine. I don't know about that. <coughs> Animal moms are a lot more concerned about their babies, like these Australian wallabies and kangaroos. Marsupials, right? Right, Henry. They keep their babies in their pouch. First mom has to help the baby find its way from the birth canal up into the pouch, so it licks a path for the baby to follow. Once inside, the tiny creature fastens on to its mother and starts to drink her rich milk. It's so tiny! Not for long. Even when it gets big, it still lives in the safety of the pouch. That way the baby's protected from predators till it can look after itself. What a good mom! Well, here's another good mom, the Amarobia spider. She literally devotes her life to her baby spiderlings. Looks like a lot of mouths to feed. What'll they eat? Her. Excuse me? They eat her. Get out of here! Is that a joke? It's no joke. She's the ultimate self-sacrificing mom. She gives up her life so that all her babies can get a good start in theirs. Wow! But a few parents aren't nearly as caring. One of these eggs doesn't belong here. The cuckoo lays her egg in another bird's nest. 
the owner of the nest is fooled into thinking it has an extra bundle of joy. That's not only cuckoo, it's crazy. You mean it's clever. The baby cuckoo hatches in a nest full of smaller eggs and doesn't waste any time getting rid of the competition. In just a few weeks, the cuckoo will grow to more than double the size of his foster parents. What a big mouth! He sure doesn't eat like a bird. By the time he's a few weeks older and eaten his fill, he says goodbye to his adopted parents, leaving them all alone with no babies of their own. Henry, I think he's hungry. Him and me both. Just look at my lunch. Now what do you think the baby might like? Good thinking. Now do something about it. Oh, all right. Hey! What are you gonna do? I think you can relax for a while, Henry. Babies normally nap after a meal. Hey, Henry, where are you going? He's fine. He'll still be right there when I get back. <laughs> hey! Oh, no. Henry, babies need a lot more attention than that. These mother lions just want to take it easy and rest after a hard day's hunting. But Junior has different plans. It's recess! Wrestling your little sister is one thing. But annoying mom, that's a really fun game. Mom might look mad, but she knows that by roughhousing, her babies are learning important skills for when they grow up. And after recess, milk! Milk straight from mom is high in fat. So it's a high-energy diet for the fast-growing cubs. All mammals suckle their babies, and every one produces its own unique formula of mammal milk. That's a mammalizing! After all that milk, guess they'll just be lying around for the rest of the day. <laughs> but what goes in must come out. Excuse me? This naked mole rat baby needs to use the bathroom. You mean, they've got plumbing down there? Not exactly, but there is an underground chamber where the babies are taken that's separate from where they eat and sleep. Oh, very hygienic. The adults carry the babies to and fro until they can find their own way. After that, the babies can be taken back to the food chamber to get on with the serious job of eating. I hope they wash their paws!
time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on seahorses. You are prepared, aren't you? Excuse me. I'm totally prepared to tell you uh, where seahorse babies come from. That's your report? Sure. A lot of people have the wrong idea about babies. They do? Yeah, and especially baby seahorses. Many people think that you find babies in cabbage patches. They're wrong. Others think babies are delivered by storks. Ridiculous. One guy once told me you could order babies from the back of a cereal box if you collected enough box tops. What a nut. So let me tell you where babies really come from. Uh-oh. From eggs, of course. Hmm. Their moms either lay eggs or they hold onto the eggs inside their bodies until it's time for the babies to be born. Then they... Uh, Henry, weren't we talking about baby seahorses? Well, baby seahorses are the only ones that don't come from inside their mom. Ah. Because seahorses are magic! Oh, no. When seahorse moms and dads want a baby, they go shopping at the Sea Center Mall. There they buy all the special magical ingredients, like uh, green pearls, pink seaweed, and uh, a lucky horseshoe. Yeah. They take all the stuff home to their little seaweed house and carefully measure the ingredients out into an enormous cookie jar, so long as they remember to take the cookies out first. Because the cookie jar is already full of seawater, they don't have to add salt. And because it's so enormous, they can stir the mixture by swimming around in it. The seahorses put a lid on the jar and leave it on the top shelf. Three weeks later, they hear a tapping on the side of the cookie jar, take the lid off, and suddenly they have a brand new baby! Amazing. Isn't it, though? And just think they give birth without any of that pushing and messing. Yes, messing. uh, thank you, Henry. Anyway, that's my report, and you heard it straight from the lizard's mouth. You really think anybody's gonna believe mm. that? Mm. Yeah! Well, good try, Henry. But you may be surprised to learn that the facts of life are even stranger than your fiction. In fact, it's the male seahorse who gives birth to the babies. Huh? After an amazing courtship dance, the female seahorse puts up to 200 fertilized eggs into a special pouch on the front of the male. See how big he's grown? Excuse me, that's amazing and exhausting. The male seahorse hangs around on clumps of weed, getting fatter and fatter as the babies grow inside the pouch, until one day, he's ready to pop. And be a pop. When the babies are born, they just float off and start a life of their own. The baby seahorse is very independent. Most animal parents need to protect their babies a lot longer. Careful, Henry. Mother ducks are really protective. Whoa. Maybe I'm not doing such a great job of looking after the kid. I'd better make it up to him. Come on, Squirt. I think he's forgiven you, Henry. Hop on. Good idea. After all, he's only a little guy. We're off. What a great idea. But nobody ever thought of this before. Actually, Henry, you're not the first one. Scorpions not only carry babies on their back, they have a deadly sting for extra protection. I gotta work on that. Parents can look after babies in lots of other ways, though. Not just with deadly weapons. This male Australian jacana bird keeps a very close eye on his chicks as they play on the water lilies. They're sweet. They're all little and fluffy and cute. But they're also in deadly danger. From what? From that, a hungry python. Yikes! Snake's alive! Why can't that pesky python pick on someone its own size? Don't worry. Dad has seen the danger and signals to his chicks. Wait a minute. 
This is no time for disco dancing. He's not doing the hustle. He's distracted the snake long enough to make a dash for the babies. Wow! That's what I call staying alive. Hey! Now that's one mean-looking sardine. It's not a sardine. It's an Amazonian arowana fish. I don't arowana meet it. Thanks. He looks hungry. Baby fish, look out! There's an arowana about! Not quite right, Henry. This is the predator fish, not the arowana. But look, it's eating the babies. See? He's got a mouthful. He's got a mouthful, all right, but not to eat. They're his babies, and they're just hiding from predators in the safety of Dad's mouth. A fish in the mouth is worth two in the bush, or something. Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal baby. Third place bronze medal goes to the baby giraffe, who has to survive a drop to the ground of six feet when it's born. Ouch! Second place silver goes to the baby right whale. Whales have the biggest babies in the whole wide world. In fact, their babies are the biggest the world has ever seen. But my Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal baby goes to the African hunting dog. Why choose that, Henry? I decided to pay tribute to a fellow amazing babysitter. The African hunting dog really looks after its pups. I wouldn't like to try to cope with all these greedy guys. And they're not even all her own kids. They're not? No. While the rest of the pack is out hunting, one female is picked to suckle and look after all the other dog's babies so the other adults can go off to find food. Doggy daycare! You hear? The babysitter is really relieved when the real mom comes home. She brings back a scrumptious snack of pre-digested meat for the little ones. Hey guys, chow time. Come and get it. When the babysitter shift is over, she'll race off to try to find somewhere quiet for a while. I can relate. Looks like you've got things under control here, Henry. Mm, this babysitting thing's a breeze. I got it down to a science. Uh, Henry. See? I'm a natural when it comes to this baby business. But, uh... Oh, no! Ah! I'm just that good. Yeah, right. Babies do need to play sometime, though, Henry. 
That's how animals learn, through play, like these black bears. This is just a game, but it teaches them skills they'll need as adults. Bear babies stay with their mother until they're two years old. Then they have to stand on their own bare feet. They should try sandals. <laughs> or running shoes. They'll need to run and fight to survive when they grow up. Practicing attack and defense through play fighting will give them the skills and strength they need. Somebody's been drinking my water. I'm not sure I can bear this. Somebody's been eating my food, and they're still there. And they'll be there for two years until they're big enough to look after themselves. And find their own bear necessities. Playing is fun, but it also helps other kinds of baby animals to find their place in animal society. For young baboons, spending time together helps them learn which playmates are friendly and which aren't. These two seem to be getting along just fine. But what about those guys up there? Playing like this helps the baby baboons learn the value of friendship and alliances. And if things go wrong, you can always run back to a grown-up and jump on board. Guess that's what they call having a monkey on your back. Playing and learning, grooming and making friends through day-to-day -day contact all help a young baboon to know his or her place in the troop right from the very start. So everything starts from when we're very little. Sure, babies are the beginning. Get that part right and it makes all the rest of life a whole lot easier. I now know everything there is to know about babies. I've started my own daycare center. I have a knack of keeping kids in line. That's some knack you've got there, Henry. Can you say ow? Ow. Now that's what I call some amazing animal babies. Bye, Henry. <laughs> <laughs>